it was lonely. <laughs> it was a lonely experience. I'm not going to lie. Shannon Penamino, a firefighter and paramedic with the Sacramento Fire Department for 17 years, retiring from stress in 2017. She says hazing and discrimination were part of the SFD culture. And she says she experienced it firsthand. As an intern, she was tied to a lift basket. I couldn't move. I couldn't get out of the basket once I was I was tied in. Um, I was then secured to the tip of the ladder truck and raised to the top of the fire station. Um, it was in the middle of summer. It was a hot day. Um, they unlashed me from the tip of the truck ladder and left me up there for about 30 minutes. Panamino reported the incident to her superiors. But the retired firefighter and current SFD employees told KCRA 3 Investigates not only are claims ignored, the reporting process is intimidating, while others didn't come forward because they felt they would lose the fight anyway. I met with Sacramento Fire Chief Gary Loesch to talk about Panamino's allegation. All I can say for since I've been here, that if that same thing was brought to my attention, that they would immediately be investigated. Chief Loesch joined the department in 2018. He says he is aware of the current climate, allegations of discrimination and lack of accountability. One of the concerning things you just said that the, the firefighters feel that they're going to be the one that lose. That is my responsibility to make sure that's changed. I'm glad they're bringing them forward because if they weren't bringing them forward to me, I would think everything's OK. And obviously everything is not OK. And this is just part of the challenge for me to, to handle. More from Chief Loesch in a few minutes. I've been told plenty of times that the only reason I got hired was I was black. You know, and I tell them, you know what? I'm a college graduate. I'm overqualified for this job. Captain James Butler, a 26 year SFD veteran, wants to see improvements in diversity, both gender and race. One of his recommendations is to reinstate the student internship program cut during the Great Recession of 2008. There's no funding. They didn't fund it. You know, why wouldn't you bring back one of your most successful programs? You know, it brought women into this department. It brought African-Americans into Chief Burgess, Chief Williams, Chief Potter, all from the internship program. Yeah, so why wouldn't you bring that back? Butler also wants to expand the recruitment arm. In one of our recommendations to recruit the military, recruit our university and colleges, you know, start off and go, go and capture these kids in high school and bring them along. You know, uh, if we go to the uh, colleges and universities and recruit their athletic departments, not only can we get qualified uh, minorities, we can get qualified women, right? A recent survey the city auditor's office found as of 2020, just 3% of the department's 657 employees are black and made up of 10% females. That 10% is more than double the national average. We also reached out to the Firefighter Candidate Testing Center by phone and email. The SAC Fire Department contracts with FCTC for its applicants. FCTC provides SAC Fire with a list of available and qualified people from all across the state. Here's a snap of what they sent us. Candidates on the statewide eligibility list for March 11th. 95% male, 5% female, 4% black, 5% Asian, 29% Hispanic. So what is the SFD doing to improve diversity? There was two things that I promised the city here, that I would revamp the EMS system here and work on the diversity of this department. And they actually go hand in hand. And it starts with the recruitment process. I hear, I hear everybody say that we don't represent our community. So what better way for me to represent the community but limit who I'm going to hire to the fire department to just citizens of Sacramento. There was two classes in, in 2019 that were hired under my, my leadership. The, the first class that came in was 20% diverse. The very following class we had increased it to 30% and the current class that I have in now for 2021 is now the diversity rate is up to 37%. The chief's initiatives include reimagining the advisory committee for equity and diversity adding an employee resource officer so firefighters feel comfortable to report any issues they're going through, bringing back the internship program and hiring changes set to increase access to the profession for underrepresented groups. Why did I take this job? Because it's a challenge. 
and I want to be part of the answer. Captain Butler says that the chief is serious about change. There's something he can do right now. Right now, we have a deputy chief's position that is open and is uh, we're going through the hiring process right now. Uh, to me, if the fire chief is serious about uh, diversity within and, and equity within his ranks, uh, I would say, why don't you start with your command staff? You know, there's an African-American candidate and there is a female candidate in there. You know, hire either one of those. You know, show us that you're serious about diversity and equity. Yeah, you know, both of them are qualified. Both of them have, well, 30 plus years on the department. In Sacramento, Brittany Johnson, KCRA 3 News.